Dowd. Scout up ahead. Try to find out where Timsh is. There's an equipment stash on the rooftops nearby. We've been anticipating doing a hit on Timsh for some time. I know. Half the city wants him dead. We'll earn some gold on this one. I'll meet you up ahead. charm right up there oh look at all those runes they're all pretty much grouped together too so yeah that's that makes things easier on my part the water of life drink it from fountains recharges a small amount of health down there. Oh wait, yes I can. Who is that guy? Hang on, we got a new note. The watchmen have taken a suspicious person captive. He is possibly an old associate of Timsh. Now that that's handled, we can move on. You got the orders from Timsh, right? What's the next address? Crow's Court off Brambley Street. But there's a problem, sir. The forest dolls live there, and their kids used to sneak us food at the back door. I know it's the job, sir, but it's awfully hard seeing them turned out like this. They don't even have the plague. I've been there last week. Excellent. Simmons, you'll show me this back stoop, and we'll go in that way. Start tallying the place up. You've given us the tactical advantage. We'll get Timsh's money. But, sir... I'll put it another way. You think I care which door we kick in tomorrow? The next day? Behind each is another useless pack of aristocratic sots and their precious offspring. And I don't care if they all end up mudlarks. Sir, they've been good to me. Simmons, before I worked for Barrister Timsh, I was dredging out the real weeper dens. You ever done that? Ever broken down a door and bathed in that stench? Fought housewives with blood on their faces, swinging at you with a piece of broken furniture. Other times it's just rats inside, hundreds of them, stripping some drunk to the bone. Maybe you'd like to be transferred to my old squad. No, sir. Certainly not. I used to call myself Brave Simmons. Till I saw a man lose a fight with a pile of rats. So when Barrister Timsh says all I gotta do is rough up a rich bastard, cuff him a few times till he stops talking about his rights, I jump at the chance. I cry with happiness. You understand me? Yes, sir. We'll approach from the back stoop. They won't be alarmed when they see me. Right. Good man. It's them or us. No room for heroes in the time of plague. You just... Do your job, and I'll make sure you keep this posting. Alright, so... The reason why I was waiting long for that was because that's an interesting conversation. But also because this guy has the key. Oh, you, man. Stop that. I could have just snuck in that this way. Doubt, isn't it? You wouldn't be in this district unless you were after Timsh's head. What do you want? Revenge. To do to Timsh what he did to me. I want him homeless, a victim of one of his own eviction documents. I've prepared one, complete with the forged signature of the Lord Regent. Please, go to my old apartment. It's right next to Timsh's estate. Here's the address, but I doubt you can get inside from the streets. There you'll find my journal, which contains the entire plot and everything you'll need. But you're a businessman like I once was. I don't expect you to do this for free. If you do go to my apartment, you'll find something stashed there. Con 
consider it your payment in advance. All right. The barrister dying would be nothing to me. I want him to see his own ruin. I want him. I'll post this right over there. That's where I can get the uh, supplies, right? Oh, there are four runes. I see one now right over there. Nothing I need. He's justifying himself to the rats in his office right now. Just inside the top balcony. There he is. Timsh is vigorous for a man of his age. He's known to keep himself armed with a sword and pistol even when in even when in his own home. He's been observed to be generally restless and mobile, pacing throughout the building from his bedroom on the top floor to the lobby of the law offices on the ground floor. Alright, so his bedroom's on the top, lobby, and law office is on the bottom. Timsh keeps his mother's will in a chest in a storage room near the lobby on the ground floor. Front door leads into law office's lobby, space is two stories high with balconies overlooking the lobby floor. Second balcony on the facade leads directly to Timsh's office. Top floor balconies on the right and left of the building, easy access. Anyway, I, I could just look after this again. I imagine you could hit him from here. I'd like to watch. I could hit him from here, actually. But I'm not going to. That would be too easy. I need information. All these mission clues. Timsh is in his office on the third floor. Timsh carries an important key with him at all times. The will's in a storeroom attached to the lobby on the ground floor. I'm gonna have to get to Timsh first before I can even get the, uh... The will. That house is at too... The roof is at too much of an angle. I'll never be able to land there. I don't think this is going to work, but let's go for it. Did not work. Okay, so clearly I'm not going to be able to get there unless I go through his mansion. Alright. What about on the right side? Okay, there are balconies on the right side. Let's try going that way. citizens. 
to look upstairs first. No one's around. That might be worth checking out. Oh, shit. I didn't know that guy was there. Come out, and I'll go easy on you. That's right, there is a statue of Delilah in here. If you remember, if you watched my uh, Dishonored 2 playthrough, you would know that there are, that Delilah could actually talk through her statues. This is one of those times. Dear Arnold, thank you for inviting my wife and me over for dinner last week. We both had a splendid time. I also appreciate you being so patient with her episode. Not many people are as understanding and you showed considerable grace. I am also happy I was able to confine you with my business arrangements. I am sure you'll be able to keep them strictly confidential, but it was a relief to finally be able to vent about the frustrations I much endure daily to a colleague who understands these sorts of things. I hope that you will allow me to return the favor and play host to you for an evening. Sincerely, Wiles Rowland. And this is an example of Delilah's artwork. It's very interesting compared to Anton Sokolov, who she, who she actually did study under. That's the key with the will and testament. I found a good place to hide the other body. understand your curiosity. I'm strange. I was a baker's apprentice in Dunwall Tower. A friend to Jessamine when we were girls. Then afterward, I made my name as a painter. Now, I'm obviously something much greater. I hope that satisfies you. Because you won't get more. I ought to just kill you. But I'm going to give you a warning for the sake of my sisters. 
who were very impressed with you once upon a time. Stay away from me. There are great changes coming, and I'll expect you not to interfere. I have influence in places you won't expect. But as for Arnold Timsch, do what you want. I won't hold a grudge. I'm done with him. Is that who you were looking for? Trophy urn, stone oh, well. cold heart. She's a bit of a bitch. Ha! And the artwork's hopeless. I know you have your reasons. She really is a bit of a bitch. A poem by Delilah. When pretty Emily woke one day, she saw the world a different way. Her eyes now looked with a stranger's guile. Her, dating, her daintly mouth smiled a stranger's smile. Her hands now worked the stranger's wrath. Her feet now walked a stranger's path. Emily fed, another grew stronger. The stranger's cravings drove her onward. And no one who looked on Emily's face ever guessed who ruled in Emily's place. And that, well, I don't want to spoil it, but that kind of plays in, that plays into her entire plan in these DLCs. Another rune found. Alright, let's see what we can do. I have two runes. Bend time. Yes, yes, yes. So now time will be slowed. If I get six runes, I can completely stop time. I'm looking for his journal. Oh, that's the eviction document. I gotta go to apartment 10 for something. The odorous sack in apartment 10. This one was born to a wealthy family. He stayed out in the countryside because it was the only place he could see the stars at night. He was never educated so he did not know what they were. He used to pray to them. That's just food. I don't need food. It's a shrine. I've always wondered. What does he smell like? Rotting flesh. Wild flowers. Does he ask you questions? I wonder when he'll speak to me. I hope he dies a lingering death. Here's one last lesson, for old time's sake. The barrister was a champion at finding his enemy's weak points. But he didn't see Delilah as a threat until it was too late. No one's watching Delilah now except you. And me, of course. I see everything. I see forever. And right now, I see a man walking a tightrope over a sea of blood 
and filth. The Empress is dead, and the water's rising. You've got Rothwild packed into a crate, bound for the frozen north, Dowd. Surprisingly clean work for a man with so much blood on his hands. Did the Empress change you? Or do you think this will help you dodge what's coming? You'd better hurry. You're running out of rope. God, I love that guy. You were in a daze. I hope it was enlightening. It was. If you count not being enlightened at all, enlightening. <laughs> That's the thing about the outsider. He's he doesn't really help. But yet he helps a lot. He's so peculiar. He's neither good nor evil. He just does things for his own entertainment. He does it for his own weird purposes. Can't really explain it. I can't go in right now. The guy's right there. Oh, you just move, you fucker. <clears throat> oh, now you move. Huh? Shit. I got spotted. Slums or create the buffer zones we need. Quite right. Her tinny little voice calling me a monster. As if uh. this is Dunwood's first play. As if I didn't watch my own grandmother cough her life out. We'll all die, Captain Blossom. If this isn't stopped, all of us. Yes, sir. And when it's over. She can go to her parties at the Bournes, her summers at the Sakonin coastal towns, with the money I've salvaged for her out of this. But first, she'll stay where I've put her. Yes, sir. You're a good uncle, sir, if I can say that. And will the Regent's man be getting here? What was his name? General Turner, sir. He was expected some 30 minutes. 
Signature in my pocket, granting me full immunity to all plague provisions. I doubt even this general has such far reaching protection. I know of none else who do, sir. <clears throat> yeah, it's nice. <coughs> Shit, didn't mean to fall. One of you to leave the room. I don't care who. You are making this extremely more difficult than it has to be. Of course he had to open that door. Probably rats. Nasty six. So I have the key. I'm pretty sure there was a body here. Where did that body go? I'm just gonna assume it disappeared. There is a body right here though. I don't know how it moved over there, but what else? Oh wait, no, 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 this is Timsha's body. I don't wanna move him all the way over there. Let's try and move him upstairs. on his bed. I'll be nice. You, however, you're going over in the apartment building. Wasn't the will on the top floor? Oh well, I better go up and check again just to be safe. It was either the will was on the bottom floor or the top floor. I don't remember which one. 
Oh no, that was just a blueprint. Eh, still useful. Alright, I've looted everything I could on these on this uh, top floor. I think I've got everything on the second floor. look at the goals place the sack inside the air circular circulator in the basement did they take everyone from the waterfront i heard it's like a ghost town yeah all of them once we see signs of the plague we come down hard you don't go through there on your way home do you no i swear it yeah, you sure? I swear it. You better stay nice to me. Of course. I have to go now. Sorry to keep putting so many bodies here, but I don't want them to be discovered and all the other guards alerted to my presence. I'm sorry, but these people are getting in my way. No, you won't. Don't kid yourself, dude. You will never be able to afford this stuff. Alright, no one there. Oh crap, now there's someone there! <laughs> uh. 
just a theater player. Other guards? People have the worst taste. Trust me, I know. Not inside, it looks like. go down there later. I just want to finish right up here first. That's strange. Timch doesn't name himself the beneficiary in the will. He's giving the inheritance to Delilah. That's what I was trying to do that whole time. Alright. Enough messing around. Time to go into the basement. How do you get back to the basement? There it is. coming down here so I don't think I have to worry about anyone finding her body. Tough skin. Your max health has been slightly increased.
man, I want to see this. What is that horrible stench? Please come. Ah, Timsh, it smells like a weeper den. You I should thought say, we were secure. I smell you from here. And we Bug are. Someone else. The neighborhood is swept three times a week. Barrister Timsh! Please, call me Arnold. We're friends. Here, this will clear things up for you. The Regents arranged it. By the way, I don't think I ever got your first name. What is this? Is this a joke? I am not sure what you find funny about it. Barrister Timsh, this is a letter from the Lord Regent dated a month ago, stating that your building is to be seized by the state immediately due to massive infection outbreak, and that your personal assets are forfeit if you do not comply immediately. A month ago? Are you showing me this to try to convince me that you're above the law? What? Let me see that. This... this is impossible! I, I... Barrister, I am afraid I am going to have to take you into custody. And if I or any of my men contract the plague because of this visit, I'll see that your head rolls. No, no, no! This isn't the right document! This... Get him out of here before he starts bleeding from the eyes. And secure this court! It's under quarantine. Yes, sir. Ha. He fainted. I'll just wait for him to wake up. All right. Now all that's left is to head on back. What? What? Keep close watch. He makes. Oh, ring the alarm! Alarm! Oh shit! Guard, to me! Guard! Hey, shit! God damn it! I'm not gonna be able to stop this. Just kill me. How? How did they even get in the house? I was not expecting that. I wasn't. I. The house was clear. I just. Somehow they got inside. <laughs> oh well. <sighs> okay. So now I gotta try and be stealthy. Say her name. I'm gone.
Oh good, all that stuff is still there. <coughs> I want to return to Roland, see if he has anything to say. Not here anymore. Guess he ran off. Ah, oh, man, I didn't let it replenish all the way. Really hoping I can get back over that wall of light. If I can't, I'm screwed. And not in the good way.
such a charmer. And I was able to do it. Is under lockdown. Any unauthorized individuals are to be considered suspicious and confronted immediately with lethal force. It. The barrister's enemies caught up to him. He's in custody as a plague victim. Here's the will as a great. That'll do nicely. Perhaps better. But you were promised information. Well, my uncle came under Delilah's spell. He was obsessed with her. Everyone knew she'd been a servant at the tower before she studied under Sokolov. She was a painter. An artist. Beneath my family's class, for certain. My uncle became infatuated. But he looked older. And made us keep candles lit all night. He was afraid of the dark. One night we all went to Waverly Boyles for a seance. It was an amusement. We didn't know what we were doing. I thought only the dead appeared at seances. But suddenly, Delilah was in the room with us. My uncle nearly died of terror. She was there, but not there. We saw her as if she was very far away, standing in the old Brigmore Manor, painting at an easel, painting a name. It was your name, Dowd. That's all I know. I hope you find what Trophy you're looking for. Trophy earned missing pieces. I'll be leaving soon. Tempsh is ruined. He'll rot in Cold Ridge Prison if they don't send him to the flooded district. It's... poetic, I suppose. Maybe I was wrong about you, Dowd. Are you ready to go? Let's go home. And let us see how I did. Hostiles killed zero. Civilians killed zero. Alarms rung zero because I let myself get killed when one was rung. Dead or unconscious bodies found four. That's not that good, but still. Overall chaos total low. Didn't kill anyone. Woo! But I was detected. So, didn't get the ghost. Special actions raided all of Timsh's chests. Had Barrister Timsh arrested, and I spoke with Delilah. Found six of the seven runes, four of the five bone charms, found the Outsider Shrine, and found a good chunk of the coins. Not bad. Dowd's Hideout. Choke Dust will stop enemies in their tracks using this as an... Oh, wait, I know that already. And the Overseers actually attacked Dowd's Hideout. I think that's the end of it. Delilah is a powerful witch who leads a coven and has moved into the ruins of Brigmore Manor. You've returned to your hidden base in the Flood District to plan your next move. 